What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Guess what? Leafool just updated his PS power from 5.05 to 6.72. That's correct guys, it was just dropped a little while ago and what you're looking at is the 6.72 version of PS power. And I'm gonna show you all of the details over here and I'm gonna show you how to get it. It is actually very, very simple. Leafool not just updated his PS power, but he did also drop a version nine and update his version six. So we're gonna look into that. So. Let's get straight into it. All right, so guys, if you look into this, Leaf has also dropped a version 9A and version 9B. Version A is using the old exploit from 5th August 2020, Well, version 9B uses the most recent one that's from 9th October 2020. So the latest exploit takes slightly longer to load, but in tests, I have gotten better success rate. I pretty much had the same experience because it takes a few extra seconds to load, but then... All right, moving on, guys. This is PS Power for 6.72. There it is, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show that to you in just a bit. And there is also another version 6 mod with the latest exploit code because I know a lot of people have been telling me that version 6 is what works for them best. So here you go, guys. You do have version 6 now updated with the latest jailbreak so you're gonna look that up so the instructions to self-hosting is very clear you just run the exploit host server and i'm going to show you that in a demonstration show you step by step on how to get that working here are the files guys you can go ahead and get the files so all you got to do guys just go ahead and download the one you want the ps power for 6.72 the new style then the old jailbreak for version 9 and the new jailbreak for version 9 all right so that's what it is guys so go check that out and then we're gonna go ahead and look into each of them let's go all right so here you go guys this is version 6 doesn't look any different towards the end of the video once we look into all the exploits i'm going to show you exactly how to self-host and it's a very 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 easy thanks to lethal for making it extremely easy to self-host yourself and get it through and i'm going to show you that in just a bit but let's let's quickly look into all the different exploits before that as mentioned guys it doesn't have anything much different it just has all these different buttons here loading the exploit together or individually and you have all these payloads over here but do note it does not have the gta mods updated for this particular version all right so let's move on to the version 9 now so here you go guys, this is version 9 and you have two different versions as I mentioned 9a and 9b, the old exploit and the new exploit. So as you can see here, you have the manual method down and the automatic method on top. So you can choose to switch it on. And once I switch it on, you just have to quit out the browser. And once you come back in, it's going to execute it. So let's check it out. With an auto jailbreak selected. So once I go back in, as you can see, it automatically jailbreaks the PS4. And now I can choose the different hand versions over here. The only two that's left is hand 2.1.3 and 2.1.3 beta. So once you load the hand, that's when it redirects you to see all the different payloads. And if you look to the bottom over here, you have the auto load mode settings. I had the auto load exploit on so I can switch it off and I can switch on the other ones to be loaded or I can just choose various different ways and it's gonna act accordingly, which is actually pretty cool. And if you guys also notice, you have the mod menus for GTA, mod menu for GTA 1, and there's 1.2.7 and 3.2. So guys, this is version 9 with the new exploit. It doesn't look any different. You still have the auto load menus on top and the manual version down. If you notice down, you can actually see it does mention it's the exploit version from 9th October 2020. So I'm going to choose auto exploit on. I'm going to switch it on. I'm going to leave the browser and I'm going to open the browser again. And guys, as you can see, it automatically jailbreaks it based on my setting. There you go, it is now completely loaded and I can now choose whichever hand version I want. And there you go guys, back to the menu over here, you do have the GTA mod menus. You also have other options and the load auto load mode settings at the bottom. All right, so let's go check out the PS Power for 6.72. Here you go guys, PS Power updated to 6.72. As you can see, you do have all the different versions and all the payloads here, like hand 2.1.3. If you hit the R1 button, it's gonna show you more information about the payloads. So if you're moving on, hand 2.1.3 beta. In Mira, you do have exploit and Mira, no HP, and the different versions from different dates, all available over here as well. Not just that, guys, you have loads of payloads. You go can go and check them out. Everything from the basic one that it's already provided, all the way up to GTA 5 mods, all included in the PS Power 6.72. So guys, go check it out. And uh, I'm gonna show you now how to go and get these things done on your PS4, self-hosting them by yourself. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to get this done. So as you can see, I, I do have all of these downloaded here. If you look into them, there should be this exploit host server in each of these folders. Now, just to show you that, I'm going to go back, open up the PS Power, and there it is. Going back and opening up this, the other folder, and there it is. And finally, the last folder, and there it is. So guys, all you got to do is open it up, right-click, run as administrator. Once you do that, you're going to get this pop-up, allow access. Okay, guys, so you're going to be able to see this one here. So you have an IP address and an index. So make sure to include the index.html part. And once you do run it, 
it'll cache automatically and then you don't have to run this afterwards. So make sure to enter that IP address slash index.html. And that's exactly what we're gonna go ahead and do. Now remember, the one that you open from which particular folder, that's the exploit that's gonna go ahead and host. So if you open it from the PS Power exploit, that's the one that's gonna go ahead and open on your PS4. If you wanna go ahead and try a different exploit, make sure to run the exploit host server from that particular folder, not the one that you have from a different one. So if you go back here and open this one here, this exploit is gonna go ahead and host only the updated version six because that's the folder I just opened. All right, that might kind of sound a little confusing, but not a problem guys, let's go and try this out hands on and that might clear it up for you. So all right, let's power up the PS4 and connect it in. Of course, the PS4 is connected now and make sure it's on the same network, which is very essential. So I'm gonna go and run this one here, the PS4 exploit hoster. And as you can see here, this is the IP address that's showing over here. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch to my PS4 now. There you go, I'm just gonna fill in the IP address. And again, as mentioned, don't forget to include the index.html, which is very crucial. Just like that, guys, it's gonna go ahead and cache and it's gonna be super fast caching it too. Your cache is successful, just go ahead and close it and open it up and then there you go. You have PS Power 6.72 already cached on your PS4. You don't have to do this every single time because once you do it, it's gonna be there on your PS4. You don't have to keep doing the exploit host thing every single time, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the cookies and I'm gonna clear the website data and I'm gonna go ahead and run a different exploit now. So jumping back into the system, I was in PS Power, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try, let's say the new version of version nine. So I'm gonna open this one up this time, allow access, and there you go guys. It has, still has the same IP address, but not a problem because we do have a different one running this time. So I'm gonna go back. All right guys, as you can see, I'm loading it up now and this time it is now version nine B, just the one we chose from the particular folder. It's cached and now it's good ready to go. So I'm gonna go and quit the browser, reopen that, and there you go guys. Just like that, now it is completely hosted. It's completely hosted, you're on the auto load menu. I'm gonna switch on auto load, close the browser, reopen that. And there you go guys, just like that, your exploit is now hosted on your PS4 and you can go ahead and enjoy Lethal's new versions. Likewise guys, you can go ahead to choose any particular folder. You can go to that particular exploit that you want, host it on your PS4 and then run that particular exploit host server and you should be good to go. I hope that's pretty easy to understand. It's very, very simple now. You don't have to run any complicated stuff like you had to do before. Meantime, guys, I think I covered this in a few videos ago. I uh, mentioned about this new particular PS4 interface that is being developed, and I think it's pretty much done. There's a few versions that's out, and I'm gonna make another video about this, just specifically talking about how to get this, and first impressions and things about this as well. So stay tuned for that particular video. And finally guys, I did make a video about how to swap your hard drive while still keeping your jailbreak and I've already made that video. I'm gonna be editing that video and I'm gonna be dropping that soon. So stay tuned for that. So if you enjoy these videos guys, go ahead and drop a subscribe, drop a like and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about the new Leafles exploit. I hope you guys are doing well and you guys take care. I will see you guys in the next video shortly. Cheers guys.